In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to get the Chapter 1 Season 5 map. When you guys are done with this tutorial, your map will look a little something like this. So without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. The first thing what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and go down to the description and go ahead and download it. These two zip files from the Google Drive link, you're going to want these two zip files as well as the two text documents, but you can go ahead and leave that in your downloads folder for right now. Once you have these two in here, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is right click and extract all, extract, and fully extract it into your UEFN Explorer folder. Once you've done that, do the same thing with the ported assets folder. So soon extract all, extract. Give it a second, it takes some time, depending on how fast your computer is. Once you've finished doing that, you can go ahead and close that window and go back to UVFN. When I hit yes, allow these assets, yes, allow these assets, and my actual time, nope, okay, so there you go. Ported assets is now loaded in. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is open up your landscape folder. You're going to hit import from file, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your height map. So for this tutorial, I will be doing the chapter 1 season 5 map. So let me go ahead and grab my height map. Now I will have the height map file linked in the description just like this. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is navigate to that within a UEFN editor and find your height map file. Go ahead, add your height map file just like that. And then you want to change the thing to the this right here. M Athena Terrain Master. The way you can find this is by opening up your landscape master folder going to here, clicking materials, and it'll be right here. So you can go ahead and just drag it on there. Just like that. All done. Now all the layer infos are already created for you, so you can just go ahead and do this. Just like that. Boom. And yeah, basically you're just going to want to go ahead and fill in all of these layer infos with the ones that have already been created for you. And then I will show you what to do after. Now once you've done this, you're going to want to go ahead and press these three little dots, go into layer, and as you can see, all the layers you're going to need are in here. So it looks like I press on gravel first, so I'm going to look for the gravel layer, which is right there, on that, and then there's crater. Now some of these will not have layer info, which is okay, so if you don't find it, don't freak out. And also, don't sub anything. So see how I press on crater? Doesn't mean you put crater overgrowth, because there's already a crater overgrowth layer, so you don't want to just, you basically want to make leaf crater blank. For arid, just press on that no topo but you get the point and you basically just continue and keep covering all these layers with the corresponding layer height map files so just give me one second to do that and i'll be right back with you this master athena thing right here is for seasons one through ten which is probably why there's some extra layers that won't be used so just go ahead and ignore the extra ones and only fill in the ones that you're using for your specific version that you're going for Now once you're gonna, once you finish that, you're gonna want to go ahead and go to the description where I will have everything that you're gonna need because down there I has all the settings you're gonna need. So as you can see, I now have this thing open right here, which as you can clearly see, it shows all the settings for the terrain. So since I'm gonna be doing season five, which as you can see is covered, you're gonna go ahead to Athena Terrain. So location is gonna be this for X and Y, it's like this, like this. And then you're going to want to go ahead and open that one back up. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Open up this. Then you're going to go ahead and put it in right there. And then for the scaling, same thought process. You just go ahead and do this, this, and make this one 50. So 
So now the map is 100% where it's supposed to be. So you can go ahead and hit import into your landscape. Now once this is import, I'll show you what to do from there. Now as you can see, I have successfully imported the chapter 1 map. Now as you can see, there's a little bit of glitching right here, so for some reason this area is black. Now I don't exactly know why it's like this. I'm going to allow my shaders to prepare because for all I know that could fix it. As you can see, some of the stuff is starting to load in, so that actually might be the solution to what was going on. It's not, so as you can see, it clearly went wrong somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go back into my landscape folder, go into manage, and click on add, I think. No, you want to click on new. Or import. No, import. My bad. Go into import, and as you can see, there are some, clearly some parts that are completely black. So what you're going to want to do is, I'm assuming it's either, it's probably between, it's probably grass only. So I'm going to look for the grass only layer. As you can see, I missed that. So you can go ahead and hit import. Yep, go ahead and do that, and that should fix the problem that I missed. Now for you guys, you guys might not miss that problem, so you guys might just already be done. But for me, I missed it, so I'm just going to go ahead and fix it while I'm here. As you can see, it is starting to load in and it's starting to show grass, meaning I successfully imported the chapter 1 map 1 to 1 perfectly. So as you can see, this is the map without anything on it. No rivers, no trees, no buildings, nothing. As of right now. So I'm going to go ahead and allow those to load in fully. Now this can be a very laggy process when you're importing your landscape, so be careful. Make sure to always save and back up your save files when working on new EFN maps. Once you've waited long enough, as you can see there is grass, it isn't loaded in fully. But there will be grass blades that will show up when you are inside of a game. So you guys can go ahead and uh, admire the work you guys have just completed. So you guys now have the chapter 1 map in new EFN. Pretty much one to one. Now, the next step, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is open one of the text documents that is in the description. And it'll be called Trees, Rocks, and Stuff Season 5. Now, this is just for Season 5, so I will be showing you how to do Season 5 in this tutorial. If you want the trees and other stuff for other seasons, I don't have that at this current moment, but if I do find it, I will add it to the description or leave a pinned comment. So now that I have copied it, I'm going to go ahead and go into here, hit edit. I should be able to hit paste. Now it seems like I might have accidentally deleted it, so you can go ahead and control Z if you do do that, because you don't want to delete the text document, obviously, you're going to need all this stuff. You could also right click and hit copy, that's what I'm going to do. Then go here, hit edit, and click on paste. Now once you do this, the trees and the rocks, all the props in the chapter 1 map, will be imported onto your map. Now this won't include the POIs, the POIs have to be imported manually. If you would like to know how to import the POIs, go follow my previous tutorials where I show you how to do it. Except those are for chapter 2, so all you're going to do that's different from my previous tutorials is download a chapter 1 build and then root through the format files and find the POI that you want to import. It's the same process and requires the exact same knowledge. All you have to do is just download a different version of Fortnite, which is the chapter 1 version. So I'm going to go ahead with these actors import and I will get back to you guys as soon as it's done. As you guys can see, the trees and everything is not aligned. Now from what I learned and what you guys can do, you guys can just go ahead and move the landscape to where it is. Now I, I know that that's where it gave you in the thing to put the landscape, but from what I can see, it doesn't really work that well. So I'm going to go ahead and try moving the landscape to where it's supposed to be, and if I get it, I'll go ahead and let you guys know. Also an easier way you can move the landscape is by going ahead and moving it just like this. So that makes it easier in my opinion. Now basically the easiest way to line it up is just to go ahead and move it until as you can see stuff is starting to line up but as you can see it's still very off. So the way I'm going to be doing it is by looking at Spawn Island. So I'm going to start moving it until everything on Spawn Island is aligned. So this can take a bit because it's a little hard to see. But as you can see I'm very very close to getting it. So I'm going to go ahead and move it over a little bit more. So I'm just going to move it this way. Right there maybe. That looks about good to me. 
Now, from what I can see, this looks about good. Now, I don't think this is exactly one-to-one. -one. This could actually be pretty off. I'm gonna go ahead and check the outside terrain and make sure nothing is floating or anything. If so, then I will go ahead and adjust it if needed. But it looks to me like I did a pretty, pretty good job at lining everything up. Like, everything here looks very, very lined up, and I think, honestly, this is pretty good. So, if you want to the settings, is basically just this and that. So I'll go ahead and put these values in the description as well as that as the Y value. As you can see, you now have the chapter one map with all of the trees and everything. So everything is here one-to-one -to, -one to how it used to be back in season five. Now the next step that you're gonna do, you're gonna go ahead and open up the river document that I have put in the description also. Now what you're gonna go ahead and do is press control A, right click and hit copy. Go into here and you're gonna go ahead and right click again and hit paste. Now this will paste in the river splines, and what you're going to notice is that there is no rivers at all, like there's nothing. But there's a really, really easy way to fix this. What you're going to go ahead and do is go into these things, and they're just one single actor, so it's really easy to, you know, work on, obviously. Now once you go into here, you're going to go ahead and go into your landscape mode, because you cannot edit splines without being in a landscape mode. So as you can see, I clearly added the river straight mesh, as you can see right here. I have the river straight mesh, so as you can see, it is going the right way, it is, and it looks like the correct river, it's just the only problem is I'm unable to select all of the splines, so I recommend doing, oh, okay, well that crashed my game, so let me go ahead and relaunch it. Sorry about that guys, so once you guys have that fully imported, you guys are going to go ahead and add your river splines, so as you can see, my game crashed, so... Be careful when importing, but all you're going to want to do is go ahead and import your river splines, and you're going to want to go ahead and manually click on each individual spline. Yes, I know this might take a while, but if you want it to be accurate and look good, you're going to have to go ahead and do it. So, I'm going to go ahead and re-add my rivers by opening the text document, copying it, and pasting it in like I did previously. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Now, what I'd recommend is when you guys are working your chapter 1 map to constantly save because you never know when it's going to crash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to my splines mode, just like this, by going into landscape, going into manage, and just on splines, and you can just go ahead and click freely, just click on all of these, and as you can see, it crashes my game. But also, just keep clicking on all the things, and then you're going to want to change the mesh to the river straight mesh, and once you've done that, you have completed the tutorial. So once you have completed this tutorial, you will now have Chapter 1 Season 5 map in your new event editor. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.